very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. Yesterday, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Russian President Vladimir Putin held official talks at the Kremlin in the Russian capital Moscow. At the beginning of the meeting, President Putin made a welcoming speech. Мы с вами обсуждали целый ряд возможностей для расширения нашего взаимодействия. Хотел бы вас увидеть, узнать ваше мнение о том, что вы сегодня видели. И, разумеется, сегодня очень важно поговорить о вашем видении того, что в регионе происходит. У меня была сейчас возможность в Китае поговорить с некоторыми нашими коллегами из региона по этим же проблемам. В этой связи ваш визит, ваш речь там очень своевременным является. И я очень рад вас видеть. Добро пожаловать. احنا نشكر فخامة الرئيس على الدعوة والاستقبال والحفاوة. وننقل لفخامة تحيات أهل البحرين. وسعدنا اليوم بالمعرض المنظومات العسكرية الحديثة المتطورة. Выставку, на которой были представлены современные образцы качественного оружия. И заместитель председателя правительства и министр обороны обеспечили нам теплый прием. В действительно, мы хотели получше узнать. كذلك إحنا سنبني من العلاقات على ما بيننا في السابق. ولله الحمد ما اتفقنا عليه في الماضي وفي طريق التنفيذ. وهناك المزيد. من ال يعني الأهداف المرجوة اللي نريد تحديدها بين روسيا والبحرين. نرزميت روسيا البحرين كتير نميت يشوا بولش تسيني بيرنا. وفخامة الرئيس وحكومته لهم تقدير كبير في منطقتنا عموما. احنا شاكرين فيما بلغ
two leaders reviewed bilateral relations and ways to consolidate them in all areas based on their outstanding friendship and expanding cooperation. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's interest in reinforcing its relations with Russia in all areas and in a way that meets the aspirations of both countries and people and serves their shared interests. He said that cooperation between Manama and Moscow has been steadily progressing, particularly in the economic, commercial, investment, defense, cultural, tourism and energy fields based on the accords signed by the two countries. His Majesty the King, Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Putin reviewed the regional and international issues and the latest developments in the Middle East. The two countries stressed the significance of security, stability and peace in the region and the world and of combating terrorism and extremism. His Majesty the King praised the International Military Technical Form Army 2016 and expressed Bahrain's interest in advanced military systems. He lauded Russia's readiness to cooperate in the area of space science as expressed by the Deputy Prime Minister responsible for the development of Russia's defense industry. He said that the talks with President Putin were constructive and beneficial and would have positive effect on the consolidation of the relations between the two friendly countries. He added that the meeting was a good opportunity to exchange points of view over several regional and international issues of shared interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Russian President Vladimir Putin attended in Moscow the signing of agreements and memoranda of understanding between the two countries. The first agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Russia was about the establishment of a joint governmental committee for commercial, economic, scientific and technological cooperation. The agreement was signed by Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Russian Minister of Economic Development Alexei Olekav. The second agreement was on military cooperation, which was signed by Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma and Russian Minister of Defense Sergei Shugu. A memorandum of understanding between Bahrain's oil and gas holding company and Russia's Gazprom was signed by the Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the company board chairman Viktor Zubkov. An MOU between Bahrain's oil and gas holding company and Russia's Roskologia about a partnership in geophysical surveys for oil and gas was signed by Bahrain's Minister of Oil and the company chairman Roman Panov. His Majesty King Hamad and President Putin lauded the signing of the agreements and MOUs that will contribute to the consolidation and development of the relations between the two countries. His Majesty the King also attended a dinner banquet yesterday hosted in his honor by Russian President Vladimir Putin at the Kremlin. The two leaders exchanged talks on the relations between the two friendly countries and their progress in various fields. Also during his visit to Russia, His Majesty the King paid a visit to the Russian Military Tech Show Army 2016 in the city of Kobinka in the suburbs of the Russian capital Moscow during his official visit to Russia. His Majesty was received by the Russian Deputy Prime Minister in charge of Defense Industry Dmitry Rogozin and the Russian Ministry of Defense Sergei Shugo. Upon arriving, His Majesty was welcomed with a military anthem and then inspected the Russian Guard of Honor. Accompanied by the Russian officials, His Majesty the King then inspected the exhibited military equipment, which included the latest Russian military technology, after which he conducted official talks with the Russian Deputy Prime Minister in charge of defense industry, discussing means of mutual cooperation in the field of space science. His Majesty affirmed the necessity of making use of Russian expertise in this field so as to achieve the needs of the kingdom and its future aspirations. His Majesty the King delivered a statement 
statement at the end of his visit in which he expressed deep appreciation to the Russian President Vladimir Putin for his invitation as well as his pride of the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries. He also conveyed his wishes of more development and prosperity for the bilateral relations. His Majesty the King stated he was glad about Bahrain's participation in such an important forum and hailed the high level of Russian technology in defense, manufacturing and its significant development which reflects Russia's experience in this field. His Majesty affirmed the Bahraini military delegation's interest in participating in such forums to benefit from Russia's great military experience. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the Russian Defense Military for organizing this forum which attracted the participation of the biggest defense manufacturers and study centers, wishing them all success in the future. Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular today stipulating the official holiday for Eid Al Adha of the Hijri year 1437. On the occasion of Eid Al Adha, all of the kingdom's ministries, directorates, and institutions shall take a recess from Sunday, September the 11th to Wednesday, September the 14th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today a business meeting after reviewing the design of a project SADA to commence the first phase tender with a deadline of no later than the end of the first quarter of 2017. He also directed that the project take no longer than 18 months since its start date. He then ordered second and last phase of the tender to commence with the end of the second quarter of 2017. This phase should take no longer than 18 months to finish. 
His Royal Highness instructed the Ministerial Committee for Services and Infrastructure to create a time frame to finish the designs and take the necessary measures on the properties needed as long as it does not exceed the end of March 2017. He ordered the same committee to cooperate with the related authorities in order to provide enough cash flow to ensure it finishes by the appointed deadline. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's interest in executing developmental services and projects in time. He also affirmed the government's keenness to provide various services to the citizens so as to guarantee a better lifestyle for the people. He said the aim of these projects is to provide entertainment and touristic services in the kingdom. His Royal Highness stated that the ultimate aim of these projects is to grant people their demands and wishes and meet their aspirations. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today the Saudi Ambassador Dr. Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, who delivered to His Royal Highness an invitation to attend the ceremony of the National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness affirmed the Saudi Arabia constitutes a strategic depth for Arabs and Muslims and has its political and religious position that makes everyone keen to defend the country and stand united against all attempts threatening the gains and achievements of Saudi Arabia. He hailed the success organization of Hajj and the facilitations provided to pilgrims affirming Bahrain's pride in Saudi's accomplishments under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud. He said that Saudi Arabia has a special place in the hearts of all Arabs and Muslims and praised the kingdom's initiatives in defending Arab and Islamic issues. His Royal Highness hailed the deep-rooted historic bilateral relations full support of both countries towards each other and the strong unity which provides opportunities to further enhance relations. The meeting included discussions of topics regarding regional and international development and His Royal Highness praised the firm stances of Saudi Arabia in supporting Arab and Islamic issues and maintain security and stability of the region. Since the days of King Abdulaziz, the Saudi government has taken over the service and supervision of the two holy mosques in Mecca and Medina, and have made the largest expansion of Mecca in their era. The government of the custodian of the two holy mosques has given the greatest service to the Arab and Muslim world, a renewal and expansion of the two holy mosques for the convenience of the pilgrims and visitors to be able to complete their religious rituals in comfort. I'm very pleased to say that uh, uh, the Royal Embassy of Saudi Arabia always extend all kind of helps that is required uh, to make sure that uh, uh, the pilgrimage and the visitors to uh, to the uh, to holy mosques uh, are in a safe trip, and um, they are from the minute that they leave uh, Bahrain till they arrive uh, to the uh, holy places, uh, their trip are safe and prosperous and um, we extend all, all, all help and we try to give it whatever that we can what, what we can do uh, of course the visas are um, as part of our job and uh, from of course non uh, uh, non GCC um, uh, citizens um, and also for the for the uh, Envoys that uh, leave from Bahrain to, uh, to, 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 to Saudi Arabia. We give the help and the assistance in every which way uh, that they are uh, requiring. From the, ta from the day that uh, uh, they, they announce that uh, they wish to, to go uh, to, to Mecca until they come back. After the end of the Hajj season comes the long-awaited second festival of the Islamic nation, Eid al-Adha al-Mubarak. My great and highest uh, wishes of a very, very happy Heed uh, is to uh, His Majesty uh, King Hamid and His Royal Highness uh, Prince uh, Khalifa bin Salman and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid. And I wish that uh, uh, they are uh, uh, that this, uh, this Eid and the, uh, the coming uh, years uh, and they are in a very healthy and prosperous life. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain 55.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Gdabiya Palace today the Thai Ambassador to Bahrain, Chayapan Pamar Gupong. The envoy renewed to His Royal Highness the invitation of his Thai counterpart to visit Thailand. His Royal Highness hailed the advanced level of the Bahraini Thai relations and cooperation, stressing that the way is well paved to develop bilateral relations as the best means to bolster joint cooperation. He said that the two countries' economic and investment potentials enabled them to launch joint ventures for the best interest of the two sides. He affirmed Bahrain's interest in pushing the development process towards requires it to consolidate its ties with the outside world, so it is always keen on activating and enhancing partnerships with the world countries and economic blocs, including the ASEAN group, in which Thailand is a central country. The ambassador conveyed to His Royal Highness greetings from the Thai leadership and government and their appreciation of his efforts to boost Bahraini Thai relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at the Gdabiya Palace today the newly appointed South Korean ambassador to Bahrain, Park Ho. His Royal Highness reviewed with the envoy the progress of the friendship relations between the two countries, affirming Bahrain's interest in opening up wider horizons of cooperation and coordination with the South Korea in various fields. He expressed satisfaction with the advanced level of the Bahraini South Korean cooperation in all fields, noting that relations with South Korea have always Always been based on mutual respect and joint keenness on achieving the interests of the two friendly people. His Royal Highness lauded the steadily progress of the Bahraini South Korean relations and cooperation in various fields, highlighting the robust economic and political ties between the two countries and their shared keenness on bolstering cooperation between them. He affirmed that the new ambassador will be provided with all kinds of support so as to ensure the success of his diplomatic mission and strengthen bilateral relations and and cooperation. The latest regional and global developments were also discussed. Ambassador who expressed his country's admiration for the landmark achievements attained by the government of Bahrain under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which he said have enabled the kingdom to be a leader in many fields. Marking the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmad bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, affirmed the success of the strategic vision and policy visions of His Majesty the King through enhanced bilateral cooperation and relations with friendly states for the good of nations and people. Al Mullah said that the Representatives Council was looking for further cooperation and coordination with the Russian Parliament in order to develop relations of understanding in the fields of par parliament parliamentary work and joint legislative work between the two sides. He pointed out that these meetings and visits contribute to strengthening the relations between the two countries stemming from the support and encouragement of openness to all states by the Kingdom of Bahrain in its various external relations policy, stressing the importance of the visit in light of the ongoing regional developments in the Middle East and the Gulf in particular. He also stressed the close ties between Bahrain and Russia as various levels. Speaker of the, Rashur, of, of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, affirmed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Russia reflects the deep rooted bilateral relations and the enhanced cooperation in the political and economic fields. He hailed the positive results of the visit through the agreements and MOU signed. The Shura Council affirmed their total support of His Majesty the King in enhancing cooperation and coordination in various fields and exchanging expertise. He added that the visit included a strategic depth that will serve the political and economic interest of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Al Saleh said the Shura Council was looking for further cooperation and coordination with the Russian Parliament in order to develop relations in the field of parliamentary work and joint legislative work between the two sides. On the sidelines of the visit by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Russia's Foreign Affairs Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa held a press conference attended by journalists and representatives of news agencies in Russia. The minister said His Majesty the King and President Vladimir Putin held fruitful talks that focused on boosting bilateral relations in the interest of the two countries and their friendly people. The discussions also covered the political developments in the region, he added. Sheikh Khalid said, 
Bahrain welcomes the vital outcome of the Saudi-Russian oil talks held on the sidelines of the G20 summit and which were led by Saudi Arabia's deputy crown prince, second deputy premier and defense minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and President Putin, adding that they were a strategic step forward, prompting development efforts in the Middle East. The minister stressed Bahrain's full support for the integrity of the Syrian territories and its rejection of regional interferences there. He said Bahrain welcomed the U.S.-Russian cooperation and coordination to maintain stability in the region and end tensions and conflicts. Sheikh Khalid said agreements were signed between Bahrain and Russia on cooperation in the fields of defense and oil. He pointed out His Majesty the King's admiration for the Russian defense missile system, which he saw during his visit to the International Military Technical Forum Army 2016. The minister said the constructive talks between His Majesty the King and President Putin would boost cooperation in various areas between the two countries. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, announced that in the next few weeks, a new middle school for girls will open in Bisaytin. This came under the government's work plan to provide more educational services in different areas. Dr. Al Naimi commended the support the ministry receives from the wise leadership. He affirmed during his visit to the school site that it is one of a number of new schools being constructed in cooperation with the Ministry of Works and the Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. The schools were designed in a modern design so as to meet the requirements of students with special needs. They also were power-saving and eco-friendly. Dr. Naimi said that the ministry will transfer the students of the current Saitin Girls Middle School to the new school along with a number of students from Zenobia Middle School. He also said that the new school's come in line with the initiatives of the National Project regarding developing education and training. The minister explained that the new school is a four-story single building that consists of 30 classrooms. It has a capacity of 1,000 students and its cost reached 4,008,000 Bahraini dinars. It includes elevators, central air conditioning, Wi-Fi and all the latest facilities such as labs, halls and a gym.